They're struggling to address this. Uh, yes, four countries are currently suspended from the African Union, Guinea, Mali, Burkina Faso and West Africa, but also uh, Sudan. And how uh, to deal uh, with those challenges is dividing essentially the African Union. Some are saying we need to punish them, we need to sanction them. And this has been done by the sub-regional organization ECOWAS in West Africa against Mali, but not against uh, Burkina Faso uh, for now. Others are saying uh, that this is not the way to go. This is punishing the people, not uh, their rulers. And we need to engage those military junta. However, uh, the head of the African Commission said the problem uh, with all this is that uh, those anti-constitutional uh, events are becoming routine and we really need to make sure we root them out to favor the development of democracy. He said this is now under threat in uh, West Africa but also on the continent in general and we should not underestimate uh, those and find a common response. And Mark, that's just one issue on a long list of pressing concerns, including the pandemic. But another issue expected to get a lengthy hearing is African Union's relationship with Israel. Yes, absolutely. And uh, many are lamenting this. They're saying we have enough challenges. We have COVID, we have wars, we have terrorism, uh, we have coups, uh, but we're spending a lot of time and energy on Israel. Uh, last July, the head of the African Commission, Moussa Faki, decided to grant Israel an observer status here at the African uh, Union. He is accused by some countries and some heavyweights on the continent, especially South Africa and Algeria, to have done this without consulting them. Uh, he says, it's my prerogative, I can do this, I don't need you to allow me to do this. They're saying, no, we're going to have a debate now between heads of state and government, and they would like a vote to happen. It's not sure how it will uh, pan out. Uh, so this is, yes, uh, an issue uh, that's been uh, discussed. Uh, the Palestinian Prime Minister, uh, Mohamed Shtaye, recently uh, came to the uh, forum here and uh, told uh, the audience that rewarding Israel uh, by granting it its observer status was exactly the wrong thing to do. He said uh, Amnesty International just uh, mentioned the word apartheid in describing Israel's policies via the Palestinian and he says it's not for an African institution to reward a country conducting such policies and so this is going to be a very heated uh, debate as uh, others would like uh, to discuss uh, COVID and uh, more pressing issues, including development.